Australian New Seeds project is to discover and conserve the wealth of exotic varieties grown by ethnic growers around in the Midlands. They're growing a whole wealth of interesting crops and we'd like to make those more available to people who'd like to have a go at growing them themselves. In the first year, we have interviewed people from allotments all around the Midlands. That includes Birmingham, Nottingham, Leicester, Coventry and Leamington. A lot of these people were farmers or growers in their countries of origin and they have a wealth of experience and also lots of varieties which are brought over here. And these varieties have gradually adapted to UK conditions as they have saved seeds. We have collected over 100 varieties from growers and now we are beginning to grow some of them ourselves. Sally Cunningham is now going to show you a few of them. One of the more important parts of the project of course is collecting seed from plants that we've grown on from whatever people have donated to us, either as seed or cuttings. This thing here, that's being overgrown by the doody, is um, an asparagus bean from India. It's a relative of the yardlong bean and at the moment it seems quite prolific and ready to set seed. We've left the seed to ripen on the pods. Here's some of the pods. These are green. and Here's the the ripe seeds. And those will be taken to the seed library and hopefully there's some decent stuff inside. Oh look! One of the things I was really pleased that we got seed of was this Lab Lab. Um, its Indian name is Papri and it's a favourite with the Gujarati population. Um, they're eaten either as green beans or for the little seeds inside and the reason this one's so important is it's a variety that's day length neutral so it will crop in this country. Um, I know that there's an awful lot of people would would like to grow this and I'm hoping if we can save seed from this plant and the related plants all around it we can actually get a variety that will grow in this country far better than most of the strains that are commercially available. One of the things we've harvested this year is a doody. This is a bottle gourd. Um, this particular example is from Tower Hamlets and I'm hoping that this one will have mature seed in it, if, especially if we leave it. It's got a nice hard skin, so hopefully the seed will be ripe. These ones on here are immature and as you can see they're still furry. They're a nice eating size actually. Um, at this stage, but I don't think this late in the season they're actually going to produce any f r reasonable seeds. They taste pretty much like a courgette, but they stay a bit firmer when you cook them. And, uh, quite useful in curries and also in sweets. It's got revolting smelling furry leaves. Some people sm say they smell a bit like rancid peanut butter. Um, and lovely white flowers. You can just see a few of those in the background that are going over now that open last thing in the afternoon and as soon as the sun hits them they curl up and they're incredibly prolific. Something else we're harvesting now this is Don Howe's Callaloo um, from Nottingham Allotments. Don Howe is a lovely Jamaican gentleman who's been on St Anne's for years. Can you see these little black seeds, little black shiny seeds? These will be um, taken off bagged up and allowed to dry a little bit and then the um, and then the, the seed will be shaken shaken out and threshed and hopefully we should get quite a good harvest it should all fall to the bottom of the bag over the next couple of years we will carry on growing these varieties and select out the best ones the very best performing varieties we'll make available through our Heritage Seed Library so that everybody can have a go at growing them. In the meantime, if you have a bunch of friends, a community group or a school within the Midlands who might be interested in growing these exotic crops, then please feel free to get in touch with us. I look forward to hearing from you.